Hello all. I'm out here in San Francisco, California. Clear skies, blue, no wind, about 60 degrees. Beautiful out. Thought we'd go up here and do a video and get caught up. Okay, yesterday was Earth Day and Joe Biden, our president here in the U.S., decided to do something for Earth Day. This is what he did. Biden's Earth Day order for old growth forests. This will include initiatives aimed at restoring U.S. forests ravaged by wildfire, drought, and insects. This will require federal agencies to come up with a restoration goal by 2030. This does not ban old growth logging, so the loggers are exempt from this order. Can you believe that? Let's look at old growth forest in 1620 in the U.S. As you can see, the forests were vast and there was hardly any place that wasn't an old growth forest, except for the middle of the U.S. where the grasslands were. Now let's look at old growth forests today. As you can see, there's almost none at all left and we're still going to allow logging in these areas, which is pathetic. What he's hoping for is to greenwash us on the left, thinking that uh, protecting a few old growth trees here and there is going to be a, enough to save our forest. He wants more collection of pine cones and nuts to spread around the area, which are burned out and full of insects to try and restore them. It's a good start, but hardly anything to be uh, cheering about. What else is climate change doing besides destroying our forests? Well, it's starting a, a whole bunch of new diseases or old diseases and spreading them around. Climate change is spreading a fungal disease throughout the West U.S. It is spread by the dust. The name of this is called valley fever. Here's a more scientific name of it. It kills around 200 people every year. California has seen an 800 percent increase in cases. Farmers and construction workers are the most vulnerable because they're so they're in the dusty areas where this fungus is spread by spores. About 20,000 cases are reported each year. Valley fever for most people it means just like a cold or flu-like symptoms and uh, sometimes there are no symptoms at all. But for a few vulnerable, the older and younger and pregnant people, they're very vulnerable to it. People that hike or bicycle or are outside are also very vulnerable to it. Doesn't mean you'll catch it or you'll have any symptoms of it, but it's just another one of those diseases that are coming up in the world of climate change. Isn't that a drag? Like ticks and mites and all the rest of it, they're all starting to become more and more prevalent in the forest, in the dirt, in the ground, where people like to go outside. So be very careful, wear protective clothing, and when you're outside, if you're outside and it's dusty and you can't get back inside and close the windows and all, then wear a dust mask, an N95 they say is the best for it. Joy. Something tells me that the future is going to see a lot of masking going on if you want to stay healthy unfortunately and it's our from our own doing from not uh, switching over to electric vehicles now speaking of electric vehicles i want to uh, i know i'm getting a lot of flack for spreading the word for electric vehicles but the problem is there is no other alternative other than walking or running but if you live any place other than just a few feet away from your grocery store or your doctor's office or wherever you have to go whether you live in a city or a rural area you need a mode of transportation and fossil fuels has to end it has to end very very soon like within a year or two which i know isn't going to happen in fact if anything it'll go up within a year but the alternative is to start riding horses again, horse and buggy. But who wants to enslave animals again? And where are you going to find the room for all these animals and all the poop and everything else that comes from these animals? It just isn't practical with almost 8 billion people on the planet and rising. So I'm going to go up this way and redo the video. 
and we'll get it out as soon as possible. And I definitely do appreciate any comments you have on this. We're uh, in a sticky situation where we need to find alternative ways to, of transportation. And unfortunately, there aren't too many variables on that. It looks like the cleanest, unfortunately, is electric. And I know it takes fossil fuel to make electric vehicles at this time. But hopefully, as we grow more and more electricity on the grid, we'll be building from electricity that comes from the sun. It's just going to take some time to do the transition. Any comments you have, I appreciate it. Your ups, your downs, the new subscribers. And until next time.